Welcome to Spotlight, this is Pastor Dan. And we're doing a whole month on the, uh, kind of the big picture of the big events at the end of the world. We're not to be afraid. Some people think they just want to go to sleep and sleep through it all and wake up and there's Jesus. No, no, no. It's going to be dramatic. We're going to see miracles. We're going to see proof for evidence for God. Uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be a fantastic time. I'm sure there'll be some hard parts to it. So we're getting ready now for the final showdown. We've talked about how evil will have to go all over the world. Seven seals, seven trumpets, the world's going to hell. And these signs of Christ coming. At the same time, the truth about God is more clear than ever. Now there is some gray. And there's gradations of truth. But God is not going to bring down the curtain until he says, here, it's true. Lies of Satan have been exposed. Truth about God has been made clear. It's all clear, God said, make the final decision. Make your decision. And now we have what the Adventist Church calls the close of probation. It's unique to us, but it's clearly in the Bible. That eventually people will decide. Elijah said, how long will you stand between these two choices? Choose Joshua 24, 15. Choose you this day whom you will serve. Second Corinthians, now is the appointed day to choose for God. What are you going to do? Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in. You choose. And God will have this moment when he looks around and he says, Are you, are you done? Is that the final answer? Is there anything more I could do to talk you into being with me? Any question I could answer? You want to go over anything? Can I send you something? Can I bring a book by? What can I do to win you? I want to, I want to be with you forever. No, we don't want you. We don't want your religion. We don't want your church. We don't want anything to do with you. Anything more? I grew up with the idea that the close of probation was arbitrary. That God is just going to have a date and he's just going to say, I've had it, I've had it, I've had it. Here it is, I'm coming. And you better not be five minutes after that. I was scared to death. No, God is not going to burn anybody who still is in the valley of decision. Honestly, in the valley. But events are going to go down through the end. Now people are going to begin to choose. And there will be polarizing de events that you really, you have to choose. You cannot sit it out. You will have to be either hot or cold, for him or against him. You're not going to be able to be in this middle ground. Will you be in? Will you be out? Sheep or goats, left or right? You're going to have to make a call. And the close of probation is not something that God decides arbitrarily about us. We decide about God. Jesus says, Behold, I have set before you an open door. No one can shut. Revelation 3, verse 8. God doesn't shut the door. We finally shut the door on God. And when God sees that everybody has either accepted him, they're in the ark with him, or they have decided to close the door and want nothing to do with him, he holds the door open. But when every single person has already decided, then God says, what's to wait for and so then he'll come we are not waiting for God to try to get his game together God is leaning out of heaven right now hoping to come waiting to come come on come on come on he can't stand it to come back he's been waiting for almost 2,000 years he said I'm gonna come back soon Paul said the night is far gone he wanted to come he said this generation will not pass until until this all happens, he wanted to come. There's been these delays. He's hoping one of these days it's all going to be settled. And we will all make a decision once and for all. He will come quickly after he decides to come. And so this is Spotlight. May you and I make a final decision and be done with this once and for all. You can seal it now. You and I can seal it today and say, I'm in God. You can go find other people because you and I are good together already. And there's nothing more that could ever come that would knock me out of my relationship with Jesus. Let's seal it together and be done. God bless you. This is Spotlight. I'm Pastor Dan. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Spotlight. We're so excited about this. We hope that you'll subscribe and so you'll get all of them. And please just forward it on to others and tell other people about it. 
And let's just see what kind of an audience we can get for these messages of Spotlight. God bless you.